Alright, so this is question 8 and uh, I'll explain just a few things here. There are about two methods that you can use to solve question 8. The question says write each of the following logarith in logarithmic form. Yeah, so in if, if they tell you to write it in logarithmic form, it means that it's not in logarithmic form. It means that it is in exponential form. So... Alright, so... There are basically two ways in which you can solve question 8. Yeah. So question 8, I'll start with the, me the first method, method 1. So method 1 here, what you can do is uh, you can introduce logs. We know to say this 10 is a base. Yeah, this 10 is a base. This y is also a base because it has the power 1 there. So you know to say, you start first uh, by writing the log with uh, this base so the log we're going to have log and then the base is going to be 10 and then I'll, I'll write everything the way they are this is 10 raised to power x plus 1 uh, being equal to I'll write again since I'm introducing log on both sides I'll also have to indicate it this side so you bring down this um, part there, down this side, according to the rules of logarithms. Where, for instance, if you have uh, the log of a base b raised to power x, this can be written as x uh, log of um, can be written as x log of a base b. So I can bring down this x plus 1. Then I'm going to have log x plus 1 and then, and then I'll have the log of uh, 10 base 10. The log of 10 base 10 will just be equal to log uh, y. So this LG is just the short form of log. So don't be surprised to see this in any paper. Then the log of 10 base 10, we know to say if you have something like this, the log of, uh, for instance, you have any number there, I will denote it as a base a this is always equal to 1. Same applies to the lean of E because the lean is, the, is a special logarithm with the base E. So this is the same as log E base E which gives you 1. So we know to say this part is just equal to 1. So I'm going to have x plus 1 uh, being equal to log y base 10. So log y base 10, so it's going to be like that uh, in logarithmic form. If you want, you can even take this one to the other side of the equal sign to make x the subject. But even this way, you can leave it like this, there's no problem. So the same way I've done this first question is the same way you do this one. You introduce the logs on both sides with the base. Uh, so in this case, your base is going to be that. So we are going to say the log of um, you have 2 over 3 raised to power negative 2 and then the, our base should just be this uh, 2 over 3 which is just equal to the log uh, with the base 2 over 3 and then the, the 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 what's this the other thing is you write your 27 over 8 there you bring down this negative 2 you're just going to remain with this part there if this negative 2 goes down then that part will always give you a 1 hence this is just going to be equal to the log of 27 over 8 then 2 over 3 
so this is uh, simply the solution yeah this is simply the solution just write negative 2 is equal to that so let's quickly move on to the third question which is e to the power x so e to the power x e to the power x you introduce the lean if you want to introduce a uh, log e base e there's no problem but in this case you introduce the lean on both sides so you drop down this x and then to be the lean of e being equal to the lean of y so the lean of e here is just equal to 1 so meaning you're going to have x being equal to if this part is 1 x times 1 you just have x then you have the lean of y so this is basically the so this is basically the the what's this this uh, exponent in logarithmic form let's quickly do the last question the last question there says uh, 10 to the power negative 4 so I'm going to introduce uh, the log with the base 10 since I know to say the base here that I have is 10 so the log I'll introduce here it's going to have the base 10 and then I'll write my 10 to the power negative 4 there and then this is equal to the log of 0 0.0001 0 0 0 with the same base and then I'll put it in I put that in brackets then I'll drop down this negative for this side so meaning I'm going to have log 10 with the base 10 so this is just going to be equal to uh, the log of 0 0.0001 base 10 so we know to say the log of 10 base 10 is just equal to 1 so 1 times negative 4 will just give us negative 4 and then I have the log of 0 0.0001 with the base 10 yeah so basically this is how you do question 8 if you have any questions you can ask I'm not sure method 2 because uh, it's important sometimes to, jo to just know one method more especially when you are rushing for an exam or a test you just master one, um, one method uh, rather than having two methods when you have two methods you may end up confusing them the time you are going to be solving questions yeah you may end up mixing the two methods so just go with this one all right thank you very much for watching let's move on to the next uh, question which is question nine